Well, guys, whether your inch is in line like this, or is the longitudinal, so is a uh, transverse which moves across. Uh, all inches, guys, are the same. They have the same functions. They have the same features. So, guys, we're going to learn today about an engine. So, it's a basic way. It's good for all beginners and whoever also who knows an engine. So, I'm going to just uh, go through the parts of the engine. And I'll let you know uh, which part is important, guys, so that when you are home, you might be able to do uh, your fluid change. You might be able to uh, add uh, washer fluid, add some coolant. So right here, guys, is the battery. This is the power source uh, for our car. This is what helps us when we're cranking up the car. So uh, some cars have it in the back. So this is a negative uh, terminal. This is the positive. This goes all the way to the starter. So guys, the starter is down there. This is what uh, guys starts the car. So uh, once you crank in, uh, this one starts it. Next to it, guys, we have the air filter. This filters the air which goes into the engine. So it goes through the throttle body, which is I'm just, just showing right here. We just connect it in here. So this is the sensor which controls the air that goes into the engine. And then make sure the engine runs smoothly. So another thing, uh, guys, I'm going to show you is uh, it's called uh, is, uh, is an alternator. It's just down there. Is a power source once the car starts up this uh source is powers uh the battery so yeah guys is uh the power steering stuff uh so this car has two banks there's bank one and bank two so this side is a uh, bank two so these are the coils the coils guys are the ones responsible for firing uh, the spark plugs so in the bank one there are three coils and then in the bank two uh there are three coils too all right let's move something else this is a washer fluid this is where you put your washer fluid guys when you see this sign you just add it here i think this is a common thing most people should be able to do at home next to it guys for this card is a power steering fluid you just put here some uh you just put to the level of the fluid and then you make sure your car uh the steering is uh smooth so next to it guys we have something here it's called an oil dipstick uh this helps you guys want to make sure to make sure your oil is uh at the required level so there are two levels you see those two dots so the oil uh when it's uh, full has to be on the upper one so when it drops below the lower one guys it's time to add maybe uh one quart of oil or two to make sure they come up so uh there's this one and then i'll show you other guys uh another uh dipstick for the transmission okay right here guys we have uh, this as uh, an ac line this is the one responsible guys to provide uh, AC for the car. Right here guys, this is the fan. This is an auxiliary fan. This fan guys is responsible uh, for making sure uh, the, the radiator is cold. And this is right here guys is the radiator. This is the first thing you'll see in front of your car when you open. Most, most cars have a radiator in the front. Just right there. So if you want to add some fluid, you just add from the top here. Other cars, if you want to add for you guys, there's a reservoir. You just add from the, uh, the reservoir, but this one, this is, this is like the basic one, the old one. You add directly from the radiator, just right here on top. So uh, down there, guys, uh, in the radiator, we have the fan, which is responsible, guys, to just take out the uh, the heat, like especially for cooling uh, the coolant. Make sure the coolant is cold, and then make sure that once the coolant is cold, it goes back to the engine. So right here guys is a common thing which what you learn about is the engine oil cup. So uh, once you open here guys, this is where you add your oil to your engine. So you just make sure uh, you add like the required amount based on your car's uh, manual. If it says 5, 7, 8, it depends on the amount of capacity you just put through there. Once you're done, you just tighten it. So it has a name on top of it, see engine oil. So uh, next guy, this is something guys call uh, is a brake fluid. So right there behind is a booster, the the round thing, the black thing we call a booster. This one in front is a brake fluid reservoir. This is where the brake fluid is. So most cars guys, they write to you uh, the required uh, kind of brake fluid you have to put it. But there's a dot three, a dot four. It's normally put on top. So you just uh, follow the required regulation, then you put the required. Uh, brake fluid okay how to fill the brake fluid guys when you see from the side 
there is a minimum is an min that's minimum and then up there there's an max that's maximum so it means that you have to put the brake fluid in between the maximum or minimum <coughs> and make sure it's not below the minimum so once that is done guys uh <coughs> this uh we just go back there we we'll go to the engine mount so the engine mount guys these are the mounts which support the engine this mounts make sure go guys the vibration from the engine doesn't reach the car so there's one right here uh, this is uh, the engine mount for the front then there's the one behind and then there's the one on the side so guys the, the big quack when your engine mount goes bad you start start shaking all right guys this is the second uh deep stick i was telling you about earlier on is the transmission dipstick so guys this also tells you the level of your transmission fluid so put in mind guys that the one for the transmission is behind the engine it's not in front of the engine it's behind the engine where the transmission is so the engine is for this car guys because this is a uh, is, uh, <clears throat> is a transverse engine it just uh the engine goes along with the uh the axles of the car like it just faces the side not the front like the inline engine so the front of the engine is going to be there all right this is the the the, the mount guys are telling about there's one there and then the second and then the third one is just going to be right here and then there's another mount for the transmission is going to be back in there but i'm just going to uh just lay the basics for that all right guys this is the ac line so the ac line has an l and then when you follow it down the line uh <coughs> it goes to uh the ac pump down there as a compressor and then outside here there's a hedge mean like this is the hedge side so when you're filling in the ac you have to put on both sides if you have like a special uh tool for machine you have to pull on on all the uh, other areas all right guys the last part is the electrical part so this here guys is called a fuse box so when you open it up we have fuses in here and the fuses guys are responsible to control the power that goes to the various components of the car so also they're responsible guys to break the connection if something is draining too much power more than the one they're required to drain so guys so normally if there's an electrical problem you have to just come here and then you have to have like a measuring tool you start testing it with the tester you make sure like all your fuses are okay before you try something else maybe uh mostly it normally is uh, the fuse which goes bad all right guys once that is done guys uh so uh this right here guys this is the abs module is an abs this is the brake line so they just come here to this module this module is the one which makes sure guys it manages the pressure of the brake fluid across all the four uh calipers which are on your uh, on, on, on your tires like with your on your rotors so it controls from the abs module so guys generally guys those are the basic parts of a car engine so literally there's uh, the radiator which you just see right straight up there's the battery okay guys this right here this is a reservoir this white one 